In the case of Jackie Robinson, he was entering the American dream, the American pastime, baseball. And it wasn't just a fact of just Jackie coming. Branch Rickey knew, and Jackie I think knew as well, that more blacks were going to come. This was the first time in the American mainstream that an African American was, was to be seen, and he was going to be seen nationally as well. Jackie Robinson, a pioneer, a man who changed the course of modern American history, a man of great character, dignity, and courage. Robinson's breaking of the color line in Major League Baseball in the spring of 1947 was one of the first and perhaps the most important steps taken in the 20th century against the poisons of prejudice, racism, and segregation, and for the American ideal of equality among men. Like no other event before it, Robinson's entrance into the big leagues vividly illustrated to all Americans the plight of the nation's black man. The effects of what Robinson did went far beyond the baseball diamond and were felt throughout every strata of American society. Not only did Jackie carry the hopes and dreams of an entire race of Americans on his shoulders, he also had to perform as a star ball player on a championship team. But this burden, this weight, only served to make Jackie stronger and he persevered with a strength that was inspirational, not only to African Americans, but to right-thinking men everywhere. He was, without question, a cornerstone and foundation of the civil rights movement that would follow. All the battles won and progress made in the following decades can, in many ways, be traced back to Jackie Robinson. Let me tell you, uh, a month before Martin Luther King died, he was at my house for dinner in Los Angeles one night, and he told me at my dinner table, he said, Don, you and Jackie and Roy will never know how easy you made it for me to do my job. And this is 1968. How easy you made it for me to do my job through what you all did on the baseball field. So that what started with really one individual in 1947 led to the, not only the integration of American baseball, but it, it really gave impetus to the civil rights movement of the 1950s. In the end, the true measure of a man's life is not what he accomplished for himself, but how he touched the lives of other people. Indeed, Jackie Robinson's life had a profound effect on all Americans. A golden era in baseball history came to an end. Yet, while the Dodgers were in Brooklyn, Jackie Robinson and his Dodger teammates left their mark not only on baseball history, but on American history as well. Their legacy as the battling underdogs, as every man's team, who after so many heartbreaking defeats and after so many years of trying, finally won it all in 1955, is as much a part of American folklore as it is of baseball history. And it was in Brooklyn, on the Dodgers, that an African-American named Jackie Robinson broke a barrier and became a pioneer and a genuine American hero. It changed forever the course of baseball history, but more importantly, the course of American history. And from the beginning, Branch Rickey knew he had the right man in Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson's triumph was a victory for the American ideal of equality among men. The Jackie Robinson Dodgers set an example for the entire nation. They did so not by speaking out about the innate rights of man or expounding on the ignorance of racism and bigotry. Instead, in a very effective and powerful manner, they illustrated to all Americans the virtues of tolerance, hard work, determination, teamwork, brotherhood, and courage. Whatever differences existed among the members of the team, they stood as one against the poisons of prejudice and hate. I'm proud to have had the opportunity of playing with the teammates that I had. You couldn't have handpicked them. A Duke Snyder, a Carl Farrello, a Gil Hodges, a Jackie Robinson, a Pee Wee Reese, all of these fellas that had come out the Dodger organization. We grew up together, and thank God we got along, and to be the first integrated team, we were winners. After his retirement from baseball, Jackie Robinson remained a public figure. 
he was deeply involved in politics and carried on the fight for civil rights. Above all else, Jackie Robinson knew that education was the key to success, and this was a point he stressed time and again in his published work and his public appearances. While in his late 40s and into his early 50s, the years of unrelenting pressure, struggling, and life in the public eye took their physical toll on Jackie Robinson. He developed a severe case of diabetes, which made it painful for him to stand or walk and caused him to lose the sight in his left eye. The doctors told him that his condition would only worsen. Still, Jackie Robinson carried on. Then on October 4th, 1972, Jackie was struck by a fatal heart attack at his home in Stamford, Connecticut. He was 52 years old when he died. 